Welcome, in this video I'm going to quickly show you how you can use the Bifrost wallet with the Flare Finance products. So um, I generally, generally like using MetaMask and doing it on a computer in Chrome. Uh, so I prefer it because I, it's easier for me to do things on a computer compared to being, well, uh, limited doing everything on the phone. So not in the website functionality, but in regards to the input, I like having a keyboard, I can do things there faster. Um, but right, so uh, so at the, at the part with the, with the grid here, so we can see the four squares, um, they have an embedded browser. So I'm not the biggest fan of this concept here. I was more expecting some kind of uh, wallet connect, at least that's what I would have preferred, similar to um, to uh, what is the XRP toolkit. So as you can see here, for example, with the Sum Wallet, I prefer having some kind of wallet connect so that's, that's being well used. Uh, but in this case, we have a, an embedded browser in the Bifrost app itself. And you just copy the URL of the website or you can just enter it. And if you go to the Nox player, uh, well, if you go to your phone, I mean, or to the Bifrost wallet and enter the URL, just paste it there and then press enter, then you can navigate, like I said, in this embedded browser. So right now I'm using the ETH network, so, and, and I have to switch to the Songbird network. So you can just click on Songbird. So now um, I can click on that one here again. So I'm, I'm assuming that I have to reload now. Okay, great. So now I can click on connect to wallet and then it will also work. So the part that does not work, you cannot, um, so let's try it again. All right, so I was able to resolve the issue and I'm gonna do it again now. So I've, I've just been doing the updates. And uh, now when I'm on the website, it's asking me to which network I want to connect. So you can see here, either to the Songbird network or the EVE network, and obviously want to connect to the Songbird network and click on connect. So the thing that is not possible, which I would have preferred, would also have been like uh, being able, like I said, to scan a QR code for a desktop on your phone and you do the signing on the phone, but can use a computer. So like I said, so right now we're having the entire flare tools a little bit smaller there and I do not like that, but on a, on a small screen there, but okay. Let's go on. So right, as you can see here, that's how it works. It's how you can use it. Uh, like I said, pasting the URL, you can also add a bookmark mark there. So now it's just their bookmark. And if you click on it, it's again, uh, then we can click on connect. And right now with Flare Loans, and I can also go to Flare X. Again, have to click on connect and can also say add a bookmark. So I've got for those two tools here, the bookmarks, which we can easily open there and connect. So now I have access to the full 10 song that I have. And I could, for example, do some liquidity mining or use the DAX here. So either I could, for example, yeah, use the DAX and exchange, for example, well, let's exchange like six uh, Songbird for a certain amount of Canary dollars. And I can just swap that. And you can see here the transaction. I can sign it on my phone with a super secret password of one, two, three, four, five, six. And I submitted that. And also now back to liquidity mining. I also will quickly issue a warning in regards to liquidity mining because there were, was a little bit of confusion there. There, is, so um, the amount, so there is the risk of so-called impermanent loss, meaning that so when you supply liquidity to a liquidity pool, you are um, having a certain amount, a certain share in the liquidity pool there. I'm just wondering right now why it's oh, okay. Yeah, I did it on a different one. Yeah. So when you supply it, I am supplying a certain amount of Songbird and Canary Dollars. And I get a certain amount of tokens, obviously. But it can happen that the balance between the, uh, that the value of Songbird and Canary Dollar to each other might uh, go out of proportion. And uh, that's when impermanent loss can happen. We'll go into a little bit more detail in another video. So I've, I've just roughly described that. Uh, because I'm also not that familiar there. But I, if, so if I, for example, supply liquidity at the current prices, I would supply two Songbird and 1.16 Canary dollars. And if the ratio over time just, uh, well, if, it, if, it, if it's possible that, for example, the Canary dollars lose in value or the Songbird uh, rise in value, meaning that, for example, we had first a situation that one Songbird was only 0 0.3 Canary dollars. And right now it is that one songbird, so the, the amount has drastically changed. If we have a look at the exchange here, we can see that, so first, so I can't go 
back further unfortunately but it was there was a huge like i said gap here so it was here on the, for song it was about whatever 0 0.36 0 0.37 dollar uh, canary dollars per song word and that has now changed and that's why people some people might have suffered so-called impairment loss like I said, I will go a little bit more deeper into that in another video. We'll also prepare some um, slides. But for now, like I said, I will supply liquidity to someone with one canary dollar. And I can approve that. And right now I'm supplying liquidity to the liquidity pool. And I'm exchanging more or less my tokens. And I'm getting here uh, my uh, a certain amount. Now I have a certain amount of tokens and have a certain amount of a pool. So my tokens make out a certain amount of the pool and my rewards are being paid out automatically so i don't have to do anything more for now so like i said uh so now it now it's do it's now it's liquidity mining automatically i'm just wondering why it's showing zero here even though i already supplied it maybe the transaction hasn't gone through yet that's possible definitely um but i will have to wait a few seconds i guess i'm just gonna go back here and just look at my transactions and it did change, I think, didn't it? Yeah. So it looks like that one should have done the job. So it can go back to Flare X, <coughs> and again, <coughs> again connect to the um, <coughs> Canary Network, and go to. Well, I don't think it worked. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. So supplying some Songbird, supplying a certain amount of Canary dollars, clicking on Supply Liquidity. You can see that now, and I'm going to confirm that again, entering the password. And I'm going to wait. Transaction was submitted, pending transaction, and now I'm going to wait here. And it should have worked. Okay, great. Yeah, now it worked. So now again, you can see there are some displaying bugs on the phone. That's what I meant with I prefer using the computer for all these things. So that's why I think it's a little bit unfortunate that you're not able to, like I said, do the signing on your phone, but actually use still if, uh, use still wallet connect, some kind of wallet connect, so I would have to program it though. Um, but yeah, that's how it works. Like I said, if you're doing liquidity mining, you're automatically getting your rewards. Um, but like I said, you are prone to um, so-called impermanent loss. All right, so that's it for this video. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.